Good morning. So a lovely family reached out to me, Amber and Juan. You know, homeowners are always reaching out to me to come up with solutions to make their homes work. And usually they have tried all sorts of things on their own or just been frozen and not been able to do a single thing. And that's where I come in. We're about to learn about them. It's a great story. So here we go. My name is Amber. Hi, my name is Juan. We've been together for almost six years. We need your help. We bought this typical 1980s box house, which actually has no charm, no character. In this house, we have myself and Juan and my eight-year-old son, Tanner, and we have our daughter, Tatum, and my mother. We just need to make this space work for our family, because it doesn't. We go in the kitchen, and it's like this weird, awkward dance when you try to walk around this bizarre island. You can't intermingle with each other. The top priority for me is probably the kitchen slash family room, because there's a non-bearing wall that needs to come down to make it. The way families live now, you don't separate kitchens and family rooms with weird walls. I just feel like we need to have a place where we can be a family and get along because we're all miserable right now. A lot of problems need to be addressed. So we're building an in-law suite for my mom, which desperately needed to be done. My mom broke her hip and had surgery, so realizing she's not going to be young forever and it would be better for her to be here with us. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you both. This is Lindsay. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. Hi, Lindsay. I'm going to go over our design. So exciting. It actually, <laughs> it really is exciting. You know what I love about what we're doing? We're solving your issues, but we're also solving the relationship issues that are going on, you with your mother. It would be hard to be under one roof with all of that going on. So this is your house as it looks on plan. Mm -hmm. Here's the way it can work. The first order of business uh, will be to open up the space. We'll tear down the wall between that kitchen and dining room. And we have to also remove the wall that separates the kitchen and the den. That'll create a wide open concept with great flow. The kitchen will be completely transformed with custom cabinets, new appliances, and bright quartz countertops. And I want to give you a larger kitchen island that overlooks the dining room. Perfect. Well, because you never use your fireplace anyway, we'll tear it out, we'll cover up that stone wall and be creating a fantastic spacious area that could be a dining room that you may actually use. You are not going to recognize your house when it's done. It's really a phenomenal amount of work for $55,000. Wow. I think it's going to turn out amazing. OK, fantastic. Before you change your mind, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Design is set. Amber and Juan seem really excited. And I'm going to use every penny of that 55000 that they've given me to give them everything they want. <sighs> Hi. Hey, Hillary. We have a problem over here. OK, what? So uh, we got that central wall out uh, that separates the kitchen and the future dining room. And we have, uh, we have a, a central vac system um, that's piped in. And it runs directly through the middle of the wall. OK, and so? Well, uh, we have to remove it, obviously, in order to get the space we want. Um, but unfortunately, we will have to redirect it. So we're going to have to either open up some of the ceiling or the floor from up above. Um, it's definitely not any of the areas we were planning on touching. And what kind of a cost? What are we talking about here? It's probably going to be somewhere around $1,000. If we can just eliminate it, that would be ideal. But I have to talk to Amber about this first. So now I'm told there's a problem demolishing that fireplace, which is not really surprising. I thought it might be a problem. <sighs> Seems I might be right. Not always a great thing to be right. So we ran into a little bit of an issue. This wood stove was installed before the rest of the stone was installed around it. There's no way to get this out without removing everything. So are you telling me that the root of least resistance is now to just take this wall down? That would be one option. OK, what's the second solution? I think the most cost-effective solution would just be to enclose it completely. Wait, 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 wait. And how would you enclose it? You would take a wall that starts at the front of the fireplace? Start at the front no, of the fireplace. I'm losing so much space. We would be. But uh, taking this down is very costly. Um, in order to actually get the fireplace out, we have to remove all of the stone. 
I haven't got a clue how to solve this with what I want and with this budget. All right, take this back as far. Bringing the wall all the way up here, then I could have alcove within that. Absolutely true. And that's true. what we have to do. We could do it as far out or as far in as you wanted. And that's not a major cost? Not a major cost, especially if we're just doing the framing. Okay. I'll get back to you with the design so that you understand how to frame. Absolutely. Good. I mean, when I say good, I only mean it's a solution. It's not what I want. But we'll make it work. <laughs> Quick, thank you. Okay. I'm really excited about the changes within the main house, no question. But frankly, this unfinished place for Sherry is all going to be for nothing, because if she can't move out, I'm not fixing anything. So here's my problem. Yes. Well, it's your problem. Yes. <laughs> it looks pretty much exactly the same as it did. It does. Has your contractor here understood that there is a real time crunch as in a deadline? I don't know if he doesn't understand or if he doesn't care. I don't know what the issue is exactly. Finishing Sherry's space is not supposed to be my job. Amber's already hired a contractor and paid him $90,000, but where is he? Can you keep on him and yes. keep me looped in? I, I definitely will. When the drywall starts going on, then we're really close. Right. Then we're really starting to have something that looks like a house. Yes. And becomes something that is going to be finished, I hope, at the same time that we finish your house. Yes, that would be lovely. While my contract is working hard in the main house, Sherry's addition is deserted. Amber hasn't asked me to take it over yet, but I have a feeling she will. I really am a bit of a pushy bully sometimes, and I'm so glad that it paid off, because at last, I have been able to take over Sherry's addition, and I can see things happening. Amber had reserved $20,000 to finish Sherry's space, and she's trusting me to get it all done at exactly the same time as the rest of the house. Right now, it's hard to imagine Sherry's sweep being finished. I mean, it's just all exposed studs and wiring and insulation. But once those walls are closed up, it's gonna have a really nice layout and a well-proportioned living space, bedroom and bathroom. It's down to me, though to personalize it just specially for Sherry. And I need to make sure that it has the natural light and becomes the bright space with a few tropical touches, just to remind her of her life in Florida. At last, we're making great progress with Sherry's space. Walls are up, kitchen cabinets are being installed. It really looks fantastic. And I'm looking forward to showing Amber how far we've come. You can clearly see now that this is going to be a livable space. Without us jumping in here, you would still be looking at an unfinished space. Absolutely. The progress is amazing. This is fantastic. Yeah. This gives Sherry an entertaining area and a cooking area. It's going to work. It will work. And I think she's going to be super happy. And I know she needs her space. I would like this to be done on the same day that yours is done. Yes. So that's what we're working toward. I think that sounds amazing. It sounds like a dream. What day is that? Um, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Literally the day that she moves in with luck, we can get her clothes hung up, right. towels in the bathroom, ready to go. That sounds good. I could definitely help with that. That would be great. Yeah, that'd be okay. good. Good. All right, fantastic. Amber and family have moved out to stay in a hotel while we finish the job ready for the big reveal. It's all going to be such a big surprise. After a final push, we're finished with the renovation in both spaces. Now the time has come to move in the furniture, add the last few touches, and make it absolutely perfect. Here's the big dilemma with shelves. Okay. Uh, do we start from the top and work down? Do we start from the bottom and work up? Do we start in the middle and just fan out? I like fanning. I think fanning's good. Yeah. Eyeline will be photographed for sure. That's beautiful. It's really important to listen to the homeowners and to know exactly what will trigger an emotional connection. I think this looks great. Okay. And the last thing is the blue curtains. I really want to frame those doors. Okay. 
could never have accomplished this wonderful, wonderful renovation, giving Amber and Juan a beautiful home for them and their children to grow in. OK, you find a nice spot for those. If I hadn't been able to take over that construction and give Sherry her own space as well. Sherry's space is wonderful, but it wouldn't be complete if I didn't bring in some special items that have meaning for her. That's lovely. Display it's even got a little one. plaque on that. I know, isn't that pretty? Yeah. And also make her remember Florida that she loves so much. I think it looks fantastic. Yeah. I think it's great because we've got this neutral palette. So we're maximizing the um, sense of space and then a little bit of color here and there. It really came together. The fact that the two are done at the same time, that's perfect. How are you? Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Super excited? Mm -hmm. well, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> All right, come on in. Wow. <laughs> that way. Wow. What do you Amazing, think? yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> this can be a grown up place, it can be a gathering point for the kids. I love the pictures. <laughs> Family. Oh, that's awesome. I really like that. That's nice. really nice. What we created was an almost open concept. Oh, my gosh. Wow. I like it. <laughs> it can be the kids here doing some homework while you're in here preparing dinner. It's amazing. See, now we're going to be able to cook. Oh, wow. You've got all the function that a chef needs. You've got a big six burner here. You've got your dishwasher where you need it. All of this works. And it turned out great. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is quartz. Love it. How does it do with red wine? <laughs> it, it does fine with everything as long as you don't leave it on the right. counter and you wipe it up. Perfect. What I love about this scene, you all sitting on this sofa, is you're using this room. Yes. And all that's changed is opening up this wall to give you the connection with the kitchen. This is perfect. This is the place that they can enjoy together, bring back a little bit of uh, romance into their lives, and it can be the perfect gathering spot for the entire family. Take an unused dining room slash puzzle room <laughs> slash anything room, and ta-da! I don't think it could be better. There's no way. Good news. Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely hated the house. Now I look at the changes that have been made and I can see myself living in this house and having a good time in this house and really enjoying the space a lot more. I'm hoping that when Sherry walks through the door of her newly decorated, ready to live in space, she feels finally at home. She can settle and enjoy her children coming over and enjoy the home that can bring this whole family together happily. Wow. It looks great. It really does. Very the nice. Love for you? Absolutely. Are you kidding? Perfect. You got a nice corner over there too. Oh. oh, wait. oh. And then look at what you've got in there. And that's the first Lazy Susan I've seen that works. That should be called a smart Hillary as opposed <laughs> to a Lazy Susan. Thanks. This is quartz, so it's very low maintenance. I have grandkids, so this is perfect. They can do baking with sprinkles and sparkles and wipe it up, and that's all you have to do with these things. Perfect. And I love those lights. Good. The glass just gives you almost the sense of old glass. It's enough to just distort the bulbs a little bit and give it interest without it being fussy. And for people over 50, that's a good thing. <laughs> and this is one of my favorite colors. Aqua, yeah, of course. Florida. Wow, and the couch? Yeah, go try it out. Oh, good, it's nice and firm. I like that. This is perfect. That's my style. It's been the culmination of 18 months of waiting and waiting and waiting, and then just suddenly it happened. And I like those chairs, they're very sweet. And now we can each be the mistress of our own domain. It's gonna make a whole lot of difference for me. It's very you, Sherry, it should Thank be for you. you. Go take a look at your bedroom. 
This is really nice. I like this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it, Hillary. Oh, nice. This is great. Perfect. <laughs> 